Hi there, thanks for joining us on TCM. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. We've had an afternoon of westerns, and up next, one from the man who largely defined the genre, John Ford. The movie stands out as the first mainstream western to cast an African-American as a central character. In fact, Woody Strode stars as the title character. From Warner Brothers in 1960, it's Sergeant Rutledge. Strode plays First Sergeant Braxton Rutledge, head of the 9th Cavalry, an all-black unit referred to by Native Americans as Buffalo Soldiers. Rutledge has been falsely accused of raping and murdering a young white woman, just the sort of accusation which could have meant an automatic death sentence in 1881 when the film is set. But Rutledge has supporters, albeit uncertain ones, and his commanding officer, played by Jeffrey Hunter, and a woman he rescued near the scene of the murder, played by Constance Towers. The movie unfolds mostly through flashback during Rutledge's trial, which is an unusual storytelling technique, not for movies of trials, but for a John Ford Western. Ford almost always favored action over a lot of dialogue. Nonetheless, Sergeant Rutledge is clearly driven by Ford's firm hand, as well as its fine performances. Strode had appeared in more than a dozen films, but he was still relatively new to acting. Before turning to acting, he'd been a star athlete at UCLA, where he and Jackie Robinson were teammates on the football team. And just as Robinson broke baseball's color barrier in 1947, Strode was one of the first two black players in the NFL in 1946. But Strode moved on from football, determined to make it in Hollywood. As you can imagine, at that time, there were not a lot of options for black actors beyond stereotypical roles. But with Sergeant Rutledge and Strode's other film in 1960, Spartacus, the actor began getting the attention his work deserved. From 1960, also starring Billy Burke and Carlton Young, here's Sergeant Rutledge. <laughs> 